Hi, today for PLTW we're going to work on this objective. I can program an animation using show LEDs, repeat loops, or scroll images. So let me show you my example here. If I push the button on the back of my micro bit, it will restart it. And my first animation is just a dancing guy. If I push button A, which is on this side, I have an animation I made of, it's supposed to be a duck going quack, quack, quack. And if I push button B, it's an animation of a guy running, being chased by something, I don't know, a Pac-Man or something. Okay, so let me show you how to make these animations and then you can get to it. For your animation assignment today, there's a few different things you could do. You could use show LEDs, which you get from the basic drawer, and you can click on them to make different shapes or different pictures, kind of like making a flip book. So if I add this here, and then restart my emulator, I can see my dancing guy doing his moves. Something you might want to do is make something repeat a few times. If you go into the green loops drawer, you can find a repeat, repeat four times, or you can change it to how it however many times you want it to be, and then you can use show LEDs for drawing what you want to animate there. I put it on button A pressed. You can find that in input, so on button A, or I could change the drop down menu, make it on button B, or I could do A plus B at the same time. So here I have on button A, it's going to make my duck quack. So that's what it does when I push button A. Your Another option for making an animation is to create a big image that's just going to scroll across the screen. To do that, you go to the left side where it says images, that's the image drawer, and you need two buttons. You need scroll image, which I'm going to put down here, and then where it says my image, go back to images and pull out create big image, and then put that where it says my image, and then you just have to... Um, like you do on the other one, click the squares to make it animated. Since I have this on a button B pressed, if I go over to my emulator, after it does its on start code, I push button B and you can see it scrolling across the emulator screen. Now if I ever want to see this bigger, if I click below the emulator, I can watch it bigger as well. So if I click B, here it goes again. All right, can't wait to see your work. Just like yesterday, you can either send me a video, you can take screenshots, or if you click the share button right here and then publish your project, then you can send me this link and then I can see your project. All right, have a great day.